So everyone's talking about cursor and rightly so. It makes it ridiculously easy to get started in coding and to speed yourself up if you're already a proficient developer. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I'm really impressed with the UX and how it works. They've recently rolled out the composer feature which hasn't really been covered in documentation anywhere but I'm going to give you a quick run through of how it works. I think it's the most powerful feature they've launched to date. So first up you can download cursor from cursor.com it's built on top of VS Code, so if you're used to that, it looks exactly the same, and you can use the same extensions, etc. So the first cool thing is having AI built directly into the terminal. So I just hit Control K, or if you're on a Mac, Command K, and I can type in create an XJS website for an AI automation and YouTuber called Rob Shocks, and then let's hit Enter. It's giving me all the defaults, and I can just hit enter again or control enter if you just want to run any of the commands it comes up with. And you can see here it's installing everything for me. Next, let's open that folder and select the folder that you want to use. Okay, so cursor has set up the basic folder. Next interesting thing is the general chat window, which we can open with control L or command L on a Mac. And here we can ask general questions of the entire code base. So I want to ask, how can I see this website? Now, if I just ask this question without any context, it's not really going to know what I'm talking about. So we can either add the context of the code base here or hit control enter and it will add that code base as well. So let's hit enter and see what we see. You can also actually mention particular code from GitHub, files, and you can even add your own docs as well. So that's really powerful. So you can see it's got a global context and it's telling me exactly what I need to do to npm install and run dev. Copy this command, npm run dev. And then we can open the browser at this address and here it is running. Okay, so let's improve. The next great feature is Composer, which I can hit with Control I, which gives me the smaller version, or I can open a larger window with Control Shift I. So the Composer is really powerful and a new concept compared to other co-pilots. It allows you to insert general instructions and then it will create not just one file, but multiple files or components and understand the context of your code base so it knows where to put those components. So this is a huge time saver where in the past you had to copy and paste yourself. First of all, I can give it the context of what page I want to change. I'm adding in the general code base so it understands the basics of um, what I'm using here. It's Next.js and Tailwind. And then I've got a prompt. I want to create a landing page for a consultant. I want social media links and I want extra pages added just to show you the functionality of how it adds multiple pages. And we're just going to hit enter. And you can see it starts to generate each one of the pages. It's giving us a page, a nav bar, social links as a component, another page. Okay, so now it's giving me particular instructions. I need to add a, um, a profile picture. I need to add social media icons and I need to update the social media links. Okay, but I'm actually just going to run through each one of these. So let's look at the diff view to see exactly what the changes are. Um, I'm just going to accept all of these. Click escape to get back out. Now, if you look here, on the right hand bar and across the top, all those pages and components have been created here in the green. Awesome. So we have the basics of our page with links to our services and contact me. The images are not coming through yet because we didn't link them. And here, I suppose, an image will drop in. And if we look at the different pages, we've got home, services, showing the services, and then we have contact with an actual contact page. Now, let's just say on the services here, we can actually read the text. So how do we improve that? We can go back to the services page. If we just highlight this text here, we can say edit inline by hitting control K, the contrast of the text is wrong. Can you fix it? Now it's showing all the changes and we just hit control Y here to accept. Now, if we go back again to our page, 
now we can see the contrast is fixed here. So the key takeaways are control L to get your main chat window open, control shift I to get your composer window open, and control K if you want to ask specific questions, uh, lines of code, and control shift Y to accept those changes and to make sure that you're adding context in each one of your questions. So you can add the, add the file or you can add the code base by hitting control return. So all in all, it took me about 15 minutes to get this page up and running with icons, images, and even a working newsletter subscription that's saved to a super best, super base uh, database. Um, of course, there's a lot more improvements to be made, but just an idea of how quickly you can iterate and build something with cursor. I'm excited to see what you guys build next. Drop a link in the comment telling me what you'd like to build. If you're interested in building businesses or products with AI, follow me for everything in AI and automation.